back in the bay, just stay in the town. I'm on the edge, I ain't coming down. I get too high, I'm afraid of the ground. I'm young and I'm paid to play with these sounds, ignore the now this is Eco, and today Property Lim Brothers has a OnePlus study to show you general size at 635 square feet and there's lots of excitement and growth in this area so stay tuned because I'm going to share with you three drivers of growth right here in Tanah Merah so why not, let's head up to the unit with us, let's go! My last was stuck at the crib, I couldn't get out of my bed Then I realized it's all in my head And I can't go back to the past, yeah Except now I'm moving, put all in the music for more like a now welcome into this beautiful OnePlus study, fully renovated, 635 square feet. Instantly, you can fill the space because of this huge wide balcony windows. And now I'm going to show you something first. As you can see from here, the whole theme of this entire project is a seamless integration of the flora and the fauna. And that's exactly what the architect wanted. And in fact, at every block in this whole entire development, there is a pool that's just right beside. And let's break down the site plan of the whole eco development right here now. It's made up of eight towers plus the townhouses are classified into four different types of living now firstly you've got the townhouse living now the townhouse is just right beside me you can see this whole entire stretch right here at the back and then next we've got the suites which is located towards the east of the entire project and then we got the condo units which are located on the left and the right side of the project and lastly we've got the Soho units which are located centrally in the development now let's say back in I'll touch more on the location analysis I spend my Mondays like Fridays I spend my Fridays in a box with my heart and my whining I put my pinings on pedestals to keep them grounded what's that Eco is in a very strategic position because we're not only nearby to one MRT station in fact we are nearby to another one that's coming up and that's going to be the Bedok South MRT station on the Thompson East Coast Line so what this means is that there's more options for you in, in terms of connectivity into the city centre because the Thompson East Coast Line from Bedok South MRT is going to lead you directly into Orchard and the city centre in just about 30 minutes so being a slight distance away from Tamil Mirror MRT station, you are pretty much far away from the rail track noise and at the same time, you are still directly connected to the MRT station via a shuttle walkway. Now, in terms of amenities, you are looking at malls, you can head one stop down to Bedok where you can find your Bedok Mall and one stop to the right is Expo where you can find your Changi City Point and one stop to Simei is where East Point Mall is and the next stop is Tampanese where you can find Tampanese Mall. And in terms of food centres, you've got 58 Bedok Food Centre as well as Bedok 85 Food Centre. And of course, you got the famous Simpang Bedok which is a favourite for all ECs to frequent there. And in the future, Sinica residents will also have commercial podium on the first floor. Now that's gonna be where the amenities that you can access to as well. Money's mashed potatoes, flowers like glaciers, pretty like great chasing. Now as you enter this OnePlus study unit, you instantly feel the space of it because firstly you can see that this whole entire layout is a squarish layout. Now we've got the kitchen on my left, the study on my right, as well as the living and the master bedroom behind you. Now let's head into the study room first. This study room is quite big for a study area. Now what you can do with this whole space is that you can actually close this up and reconfigure this into one bedroom itself. Now this is definitely big enough to put in a single and you can also install wardrobe cabinetry spaces over here. And this is gonna become the second bedroom which this whole entire OnePlus study layout allows you to do so because of its squarish layout as well as the general size of being 635 square feet in size. But one more thing that's great about this whole entire unit is that there's a very high ceiling of 3.34 meters. So even if you close this study up and you reconfigure it into a one bedroom, you'll realize that it does not feel as small. Never at ease, I don't know a limit. Chasing the dream, I don't know what sleep is. I got a queen, she let me to eat it. She ripe like a peach and she snapped me to snip it. Well, okay. Now this is an open concept kitchen with an L-shaped countertop and you can see there's a dedicated space for your fridge right here and even cabinetry spaces above and beside the fridge and also induction cooker hood and hob has been installed for you as well as this conventional microwave oven storage spaces have also been installed above and below the countertop spaces got sink now this is actually great because you've got extra countertop space for you to do your kitchen prep right here and for the cabinetry spaces you can see even the bloom soft system has already been installed for you now one interesting thing that the developer has cleverly planned is that they actually put a mini storage space right here for your washer cum dryer area. Since the developer has cleverly carved out one small area outside the kitchenette for your washer cum dryer area, now this frees up more space for your storage over here. It is what it's supposed to be. Say it loud, but I mean it too, yeah. Talk that good when you talk to me. Now in this living area, definitely you feel the size of it because of the high ceiling of 3.34 meters and you see that wall to wall is pretty much very wide as well so you've got very good distance from your sofa to your TV console and definitely this kind of living space is very very hard to come by for a OnePlus study unit because look at this, it's so spacious especially the huge balcony doors over here now this is going to allow natural sunlight and ventilation into the unit so if I were to open this up, you can see that your space is generally extended outward Now the balcony area is very rectangular, regularly sized in shape so one radio 
idea that you can consider is perhaps you can install zip track right here so that you can close up this entire space and then what you can do with this space is that you can put your alfresco dining over here now that's gonna enlarge your internal livable space and seamlessly bring this whole balcony space into your internal living area and the developers has also added a very nice and aesthetic touch in this louvers that makes up the facade of the entire project over here now this also forms sort of like a shade and privacy for your need as well hey, like I'm post to watch out for the people that ain't close to speak a little something you could toast to now for the Soho blocks right here in Eco, if you're looking for the OnePlus study units, there are mainly three different types of layouts right here. Now for the first layout is the L-shaped layout. It's about 614 to 624 square feet in size. And upon entrance, you're greeted by the long kitchenette. So you do get some form of privacy from the entrance because you can't see into the living and the dining area. Now you've also got a wider living and dining in the l shape, And the study is right in front of the kitchenette. So depending on the placement of your TV console, if it's the wall outside the master, the console is slightly shorter as the balcony takes up some of the space. Now the second layout is the open landscape kind of layout at 689 square feet. Now as you enter the unit, you are greeted by the kitchenette and the living and dining on the left along with the balcony and the study and the master bedroom and bath is situated inside the unit. And the third type of unit is the squarish regular kind of layout at 635 square feet. So as you enter the unit, your kitchen is on the left and your living and dining is in front along with the balcony and the master bedroom and bath is located on the left. And our unit right here in Eco is the third layout with the squarish rectangular kind of space. Now this is great because instantly when you enter the unit, you feel that the space is not as small and even being a one plus study unit, you get a very spacious kind of feel over here. Now the first driver of growth in this area are the new launches that are sprouting up in Tanah Merah and Bedok. Now we've got Seneca Residence as well as Sky Eden that just launched and it's gonna reach its TOP status in about 2027. Now upon launch till today, the day of filming, Seneca Residence has transacted at about 1,900 to 2,200 PSF and Sky Eden has transacted at about 2,100 average PSF. Or when the first owners have cleared their SSD holding period and the units are then introduced into the resale market, say if they were to exit at a margin of about 200 PSF, it means that they'll likely be selling at about 2,200 to 2,300 PSF. So what this means is that the new launch projects will then set the new benchmark pricing in the area and this then creates a disparity effect between the new launch project as well as the surrounding existing projects right here. So what this means for projects like Eco is that there's greater room for growth in terms of the PSF appreciation. Now the second driver of growth is definitely the expansion of the whole entire Changi Airport with the introduction of Terminal 5. Now that's going to create more jobs in the aviation industry and with more jobs available, that's going to attract more working professionals, be it international or local professionals into the area as well. And of course, that's going to create more demand for surrounding projects that are very near Changi Airport. And Eco is definitely a project that's going to benefit from this because we're walking distance to Tanamera MRT Station that's going to directly lead to Changi Airport in within 5 minutes. And in tandem with the expansion of Terminal 5, now Tana MRT Station is also undergoing an expansion that will be done in 2024. Now this is going to shorten waiting time for commuters and also allow greater access to the Changi Airport. In the future, Tanamera MRT station will also be a terminal on the Thomson East Coast Line and will pass through Terminal 5 as well. And in the future, as the new rails in Tanamera stations are opened and the existing rails are decommissioned, LTA and Mbox have collaborated to have plans to create a greener transport system by repurposing the existing railway to green corridor walkways for residents to enjoy. And talking about MRT and connectivity, there's also the upcoming Bedok South MRT station which is on the Thomson East Coast Line and that's just about a 10 minutes walk down south along Bedok South Avenue 3. And what this means is that there's greater connectivity for residents in Eco to enjoy because now you're not only near to Tanamera MRT Station, you're also very near to Bedok South MRT Station and that's going to lead you directly into Orchard and City Centre in less than 30 minutes. Now the third driver of growth is the new land plots that has been zoned residential under the URA Master Plan. Now if you to bring out the Master Plan, you see that currently the Bedok Stadium is now zoned as residential. You've also got a residential land plot right adjacent to Tanamera MRT Station and adjacent to Eco is where the new Bedok South BDO cluster will be developed. A total of 1,600 odd units will be built and all these new residential land plots will then form your target audience because for instance, for young families or couples who are looking to enter into the private market with a more palatable kind of quantum, this is one option that they can consider as a favourite home to kickstart their private property journey. And of course, this is on top of other groups such as investors, singles and working professionals which will form your other part of your target audience as well. And of course, it's always good to have new residential developments in the area because with new residents, there will be new infrastructure and new amenities that will be built nearby to support the needs and lifestyles of the residents here as well. So that's definitely going to benefit the existing residents who are currently staying in the area. You wanna whip with the boy for the one time Okay, maybe one 
one time. Roll it up and hit it for me one time. Okay, now let's head into the master bedroom where you can see currently the owner has already done up a very nice loft kind of concept. Now this is great in terms of your space utilization because with a very high ceiling of 3.34 meters, what you can do is that you can actually play around and you can expand your livable space over here. So on the lower level, you've got cabinetry spaces done up for you and you've also got a study desk over here which is facing the window and that's great because you've got natural light coming in that's going to bright up when you do your work. We've also got storage spaces underneath the staircase. There's also a small storage space over over here under the first step of the stairs. On the upper level is where you can find your bed. You can fit in a queen or even a king size bed. You also got power sockets that's already been installed up there on the upper level as well. So you don't have to worry about pulling any wires up to the upper level. So you still get natural light coming in on the upper level. Entering into the master bathroom, you will see that it's very nicely done up already. You've got marble as your flooring and as your walls. Now as you can see, this whole master bathroom has a Jack and Jill concept. So you got one door that's accessible from the master bed room you've got also another door that's accessible from the study so if you were to reconfigure the current study into a single bedroom this single bedroom you still get to enjoy direct access to the bathroom as well you've also got storage space underneath the sink you got a huge panel of mirror right here as well shower screen has already been installed for the shower area over here so you don't have to worry about water sipping out to other parts of the bathroom and both the handheld shower and rain shower has also been installed it's coming to you live live from a place where nobody else know to take it they hand out they want us to spit the pie pie right because they realize that we gone crazy now if you're currently out in the market looking for a one plus study that's very near Tanah Merah MRT station now what are some of your options that you can consider now a one plus study at Grandeur Park which still opened in 2021 is sized at about 452 square feet is currently asking at 888k to about 900k and that translates to a PSF of about 1988 to 1991 PSF and if you were to compare the two bed one bath units that are currently in the market the Glades which still opened in 2017 the two bed one bath is sized at about 570 to 592 square feet is currently asking at 980k to 1.3 million which is about 1719 to 2195 PSF. Now Urban Vista which still opened in 2016, the two bed one bath there is sized at about 549 to 634 square feet. It's currently asking at 970k to about 1.08 million which translates to 1579 to 1803 PSF. So coming back to our unit right here in Eco which still opened in 2017, we feel that our unit right here hits a sweet spot in our PLV trifecta analysis because with a size of about 635 square feet being a one plus study you are able to actually reconfigure this into a two bed one bath unit which is still larger than some of the two bed one bath units in other projects at a very palatable 950k negotiable kind of quantum as well as a PSF pricing of about just below the 1500 PSF mark now if you're using this as a people home what your approach can be is that you can stay first and the future when your status in terms of your relationship changes for instance you have a spouse or your family is expanding you can then get another unit and rent this out. Now if you're an investor and you are wondering how the rental rate is like here, the current rental is going around 3,300 to 3,500 for a one bidder but we take an average of 3,400 as a rental to calculate on the rental yield. For example, if you're a buyer age 30, buying under a single name and you're currently earning about seven to $8,000 in income and you're purchasing this unit at 950 k at an interest rate of about 4.5% over the next 30 years and assuming you can take a max 75% loan, your monthly mortgage will then be about $3,610 per month. Therefore, you only need to top up around $200 plus per month and the rent will cover for most part of your mortgage. Crashing the pine on the marble floor Yeah, put up that sign that we love and joy Yeah, I want more Yeah, she want more All the miss words of the flashing lights now we've come to the end of this home tour. Now if you're looking for a one plus study at a very generous size of 635 square feet with a high ceiling of 3.34 meters and a very squarish regular layout and unpolished gem in an area that's filled by drivers of growth, do contact our listing managers. Their details are down below. Do subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and TikTok channels as well. My name is Ramzi from Feeling Brothers. Always happy to show you the place. And of course right opposite and of course right opposite us and of course right opposite and of course uh, and of course adjacent and of course adjacent and of course adjacent to and of course and of course and of course and adjacent to and adjacent to e and adjacent to eco is where the new plus one more thing plus one more thing that's plus one thing plus one more thing that's plus one thing that's great about this and projects that are surrounding and eco is definitely one of and eco is definitely a project and eco is definitely a project that's gonna and of course this and of course with this and of course and of course and of course on top of this and of course on top of this and and of course on top of this and of course on top of this with